Hello, this is Mr. Chitteroff with the Mirada Mesa High School CAD Dissection Review. The uh, section we're going to look at today is both the superficial dorsal and the deep dorsal. So let's check out di uh, Desicat and see what we got. We're going to be looking at the superficial muscles of the dorsal part of the cat. So we have the neck muscles here. Moving over we have the trapezius muscles here, here, and here. We have down here the most prominent one, the latissimus dorsi, and then we'll be going over the muscles, superficial muscles and the deep muscles for the back. We're going to direct our attention to the muscles along the spine of the cat. First one we're going to look at is over here. This is called the temporalis muscle. Temporalis is, as you can see, on top of the cranium. And you can uh, approach it from either left or right. And uh, this is one of the first muscles that we see from the anterior portion of the cat. The next muscle group is another trapezius muscle. This is the clavo trapezius. Okay, the clavo trapezius is over the neck and, and of the cat. Okay, this is one of the three trapezius muscles. Okay, as we move further down the cat towards the shoulder area, you can see this is the shoulder. You see the outline of the scapula. The superficial muscle that covers that is the acromiotrapezius. Okay, as we move posterior to that, the one um, behind the shoulder is called the spinal trapezius. This sits superficial to the latissimus dorsi. The latissimus dorsi is kind of like a trapezius muscle. Um, it's the biggest, most prominent muscle on the side of the cat. And we can see it, this whole area here. Remember the latissimus dorsi is attached to the lumbodorsal fascia, which is in the posterior part of the spine. We want to direct our attention to uh, the neck and shoulder area. Okay. Um, this is the most, the one that we see first is the rhomboidus capitis. This is part of the rhomboidus group that makes up the muscles in between the shoulder. Underneath the rhomboidus capitis, we have the splenius. The splenius covers the side of the neck. It's considered a deep muscle. Okay, the next one we have is the levator scapula ventralis. The levator scapula ventralis bridges from the shoulder, the scapula area, over and connects to the neck on the cat. We move down from the levator scapula ventralis, we have the acromio brachialis, or the clavo brachialis. Clavo brachialis is here, which turns into the clavo trapezius up here. Adjacent to the clavo brachialis, we have the acromio deltoid, which is this muscle, this teardrop shaped muscle of the arm. And below that, we have the triceps brachii lateral head, triceps brachii long head, and the medial head we'll, we'll discuss in a few minutes when we look at the deep side. Okay, on the scapula area, the, the attachment point for the levator scapula is the spine of the scapula. Above the spine, this is called the supraspinatus muscle. Below the spine down here, we have the infraspinatus. So supraspinatus above the spine, infraspinatus below the spine. Okay, if we follow the line of the levator scapula, it's going to terminate at this muscle here, which is the spinodeltoid. Next, below the infraspinatus, we have this is the teres major, which is connected to the scapula, but separated at the same time. Moving up from the teres major, we have the rhomboidus major. Okay, so teres major here, rhomboidus major is this one that comes up, which connects to the other rhomboidus muscles. What we want to do right now is review the three rhomboidus muscles. Okay, on the neck area, going extending from the shoulder blade up to the top, back of the head is rhomboidus capitis. Capita means head, that's the way we can remember it. Now between the shoulder blades, if I pull them apart, you can see this big band between the shoulder blades, which is the rhomboidus minor. Okay, the last rhomboidus is on the corner of the scapula, which links up to the rhomboidus minor called the rhomboidus major. So once again, rhomboidus major, 
rhomboidus minor in here between the scapula and then rhomboidus capitis which is by the neck. All right, next we're going to go over some of the other deep dorsal muscles on the side of the cat. All right, so we're continuing on the dorsal side. We have three muscles right here. This top muscle, the most medial, is the spinalis dorsi. This right here is part of the longissimus dorsi that extends all the way down the back of the cat. So we're going to skip that one, and this one is the iliocostalis. Iliocostalis sits right above the external intercostals. Okay. Now as we move back to the rear of the cat, we have uh, the lumbodorsal fascia, which remember is an attachment point for both the latissimus dorsi that's been removed on this side, and the external oblique. Okay. Right along the medial part of the cat, Covering the vertebra is the multifidus spinae, okay? It's this one that's right here. If we move lateral to that, we have the three longissimus dorsi muscles, okay? This is longissimus dorsi medial branch, this is longissimus dorsi intermediate branch, and this is longissimus dorsi ventral branch. Three right here. Now, since we're here, this is technically a ventral muscle, but you can see the three layers of the abdomen, abdominal muscles here. We have the external oblique, internal oblique, and then the transverse abdominis. Transverse abdominis being the deepest layer, and the external oblique being the most superficial layer. Hi, this is Mr. Chitteroff, and this concludes our dorsal dissection review for the Mirror de Mesa High School anatomy students. All right, get learning.